Hello everyone, welcome to Market Watch. It is time to discuss the Digimon trading card game market. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the real sealed deep dive I did on Saturday, but today we're going back to what we normally do, covering all the wackiness in the singles. Because there are some hot singles out there right now in TCG Player for you to find. Today I want to bring the light to some of them. If you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell to smash potatoes, that way you know when all these amazing digital videos go live. Also, real quick, uh, I, my YouTube membership is a, still a thing. I got 85 members the first week. That was really cool. I appreciate all 85 of you. If you guys want to join the membership, you know, um, you should do that. It's $3 a month. And I would really appreciate that. You get all sorts of early access to some of my market ideas, not market watches, some of my just little market ideas. Plus some cool pictures, plus some deck profiles before they come to YouTube officially, or even um, at all. And I, on Saturday, I did a YouTube member-only stream, which was really cool. And yeah, and I uploaded it publicly after that, and I, I, I messed up in the warm-up game. I made a legal play. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Calm down. Guys, it's okay. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. If you want to prevent stuff like that in the future, just be a YouTube member. Watch the streams when they happen. God. Anyway, all right. I'm done rambling. It's it's 1 a.m. for me right now, just about. Uh, so for me, this is a late night. For you guys, this will be nice Monday morning stuff. So on my market here, there is no real difference. Everything else is basically doing the same that it has been doing. So we'll move right along here to Andrew Mon Ace Lottery Card, who has a buyout. One copy left at 420, basically. I almost want to see if I can sell mine for 420. Like, that's big money. I bought them under three. Lower in some cases. This would be big flip, and I could buy it back later potentially. This is pretty crazy. And if someone does buy this, then it just a testament to show that it can actually go for that price. And things get really wacky. But I anticipate that some people will list a little bit lower, try to lower it a little bit. That's okay. Tentomon Alternate Art at $39 has received a bit of a buyout here. People were going a little bit crazy the last couple of days. Uh, that's all that's left. It's not a lot. BT16 bug support is coming. People are getting hyped for it. It'll go back down soon though, so don't if you missed it, don't worry about it. Izzy is kind of going through a similar thing right now. People are buying Izzy up like crazy. It's almost at a buyout. There's only one page left on TCG Player. A uh, matter of time, my opinion, because you should play this in the bug deck, I guess. I guess it's fine. Um, just do it. You know, it might be worth 20 bucks soon. Uh, alternate Art Biomon from Exceed Apocalism. It's always a good one. Always a good one. Uh, also going through some movements here. Not a lot of listings left before it's gone completely. And people, again, have not as crazy as a Tentomon uh, because the bug deck is probably better than the bird deck in BT16. But people are going crazy for them. And this card will be $20 before long. So, uh, if, if you want to sell them now, probably get some guaranteed profit, you should probably do that. But I could also see it hitting 20 bucks. That's very possible. Protoform is just shooting up to $16. This card is super meta. It's now a Chase Super Rare VX5, which is pretty bananas. Uh, Magnangemon Ace, lottery card. I've been talking about this card a little bit. The BT15 version is uh, $210 right now. This is $160. And when this goes... This one doesn't really count because it's light play. It will be higher. I anticipate this card to be worth more. The BT15 lottery card version. Because it's just a way better art. It just is. I got nothing else to say. Um, Ultimate Cup stuff. People are getting their Ultimate Cup stuff in the mail now. Um, this is the time to sell them while it's limited and hot. And people really want to get the stuff ASAP. This is the time to sell. You think this Agunimon will be $70 in six months? It will not be $70 in six months. I'm telling you that. Uh, there will be less of these. That is true because there will be less Ultimate Cups with the prizing because they're rotating every six months and that's out of 12. That's nice. But it's going to just go down from there. So I would make sure you get rid of them really quickly. Uh, Magnamon for $69. Nice. Um, the buyout, though, continues. This one was a little bit expensive. This one has been expensive, though. $80. Bucks. 
But what surprised me a little bit is this Magnemon. It's technically the mid-rarity. It's not even max rarity because there's a lottery card version of it. But people are thinking that this is kind of, sort of my fault because of that um, YouTube live stream I did where I was testing a certain deck even though I misplayed uh, the first game. I was building, a, I had a really cool yellow Magnemon list. And people were like, look what you did, you market manipulator, Scott. I don't think I did this. I really don't think I did this. But nonetheless, got a light play here for 42 and then a near mint for 120. Now all the other near mints have sold. That's where we are right now. It's a pretty scarce time. I would sell this card while you have them. GX is up to 40 bucks and then it's very close to 50. Um, I've been calling this one for a while. But I think what put over the edge is, without getting the spoilers, a YouTube content creator for Digimon, I was told, uploaded a video of gameplay where Justmon GX basically stole the game. I, I think I can guess where this came from, uh, but I'm not going to get into spoilers. So don't, don't, don't post any spoilers in the comments section, you guys. Don't do that. Spoilers are bad. They're bad for you. But yeah, that's probably why this is going up right now. Kuagamon is $37, and it keeps going up. Soon, this might be as expensive as Raremon, which is pretty crazy. But BT16 hype is really there for this card. Uh, Takuya, $40. Bucks. You know, Red Hybrid has a little bit of hype, I guess. Maybe because of Worlds, maybe because of Ultimate Cup prizing, and people want their max variety cards and whatever. I, I, I'm not really sure. But it is going pretty wild. And now would be a good time to sell these cards if you have them. Digimon Emperor. Shout out to Security Control winning Nationals for this card to be $35 minimum, basically. Uh, it's going nuts. Sell them if you got them. Straight up, sell them. Uh, Event Pack 6 cards. Event Pack 6 is officially being distributed now uh, as of the last few events. This is not the time to buy Event Pack 6 cards. As you know, there are a whole bunch... Of Map Pack 6 cards in Digimon. Like, look, got the Belfmon Sleep, we got the Canalise, the Lalamon, the Rise Gray X that eventually I'll have to get four copies of. Uh, Dark Nightmon here, Plesiomon for you fish lovers, Omecamon from BT13, and Panjamon from BT11, which some people might want, I guess. Uh, maybe the Belfmon too. Yeah, you know, like, don't. Worry about it. this is actually one of the most underwhelming event packs I think we've had in a while. The only thing that's saving it is that they're all alt hearts instead of reskins, basically. But anyway, point aside, it's not the time for this. Not yet. Panama's 30 bucks. Some people bought some, and it is now 30 bucks. Which does not surprise me, given the upcoming climate of this card. It could go higher. But it looks like it's going to be stuck at 30 for a while. There's more, more people that try to list to destroy the value of it. Oh, yeah. So, Kuyu Monspore got announced, by the way. So, this card's going bananas. Uh, I've been calling this one for a long time. So, Kuyu Mon gets, gets support. This card goes off. I was right. And uh, if you invested in this when they were 20 or less, you can now sell them in the 30s. People are buying. Um, you you can make some free money off of this. Monzimon. This is the time to grab Monzimon. You're getting a little bit of a reprieve. A lot of people just dumped the market with these. Um, this is the time to buy Monze Mons. Do it, because let me tell you something. Uh, once BT15 plus Starter Deck, Terrier Mon, Lop Mon is solved, a lot of people playing Numa Mon, which means a lot of people playing this card. It will get eaten up again. The supply will eat the demand. Or the demand will eat the supply. I completely butchered that. This card will be expensive again soon. People need this card for the deck. It's crazy. Also, Yellow Vaccine. I'll just throw that out there. Ukomon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is one I called too. I knew this card was going crazy. Ukomon's insane, by the way. I don't know if you guys know this, but Ukomon's a crazy good card. Now, to be fair, if you look at the market data, no one has pulled the plug on 30 except for this one sale. But besides that, no one's touching it. Maybe by the time my market watch actually goes live, people might check Ukumon and they might see a couple of these 30s sold. But then after that, it goes to 37. Um, I bought a play set for like 15 each. I'm like, I'm so, I'm so happy I did that. 
Um, because now I can double my money if I choose to. Now it's time to double your money, guys, if you choose to do that. Ordeanmon. I want to cover Ordeanmon because Mastermon Ace makes this card a lot easier to bring out. The EX6 stuff is indirectly Ordeanmon support. Uh, and people haven't been buying this card, really. I had a little bit of a hype spike, I guess. Kind of, sort of, not really, but... No one's touching it past 20 bucks. Uh, I think that some Japanese player is going to play EX6 Mastermon Ace Shenanigans and Ordeen Mon's going to come out and th then it's just going to be an expensive card. Ordeen Mon has gone through random spikes in its um, 10 year Digimon TCG. I wouldn't be surprised if it hit 30 bucks. Um, but I do. You can also force a buyout. You really could. You could buy this, you could buy this, you could buy this. Boom, done, easy. Um, I could see this card in 30 bucks, no problem. But people have to actually buy into these listings before that happens. Uh, Venus Mon's up to 14 bucks. It's looking to become an expensive super rare. Uh, partially, again, because security control one. And even though I like to think it's because it's a yellow vaccine staple, in my opinion, I think the more cano canonically correct answer is because security control one world. Uh, this could be a bubble, or this could just be the new super rare quartz mon hit only, almost 20 bucks. A copy we don't yet know but if you bought these for under 10 you can sell them now for guaranteed profit and um, maybe that's worth it or you can try to toe the line a little bit see if it goes past 15 that's up to you um i'd probably sell those super rares now uh shout out striper is another card that is seeing some buying action because of worlds people are buying up the quantities of the world there are a lot of these and now there's 14 this card could once again exceed $20 very quickly. I told you. I mentioned this one like, what, a week ago or something? This card goes through waves. It does. It's going through a wave right now. It's going to keep going, too. Uh, Newmon pre-release stamp, $15. Newmon part is still, like, kind of up there right now. Um, it's just very hyped. It's, like, the cool thing to do right now is to play Newmon, I guess. Um, Diabormon tokens. Okay. Genuine discussion about this. Because we have two forms of Diamond tokens. We have the DejiFest ones from 2022 shooting 16 bucks that have seen some action in the market. And we have the ones that just came out in the Diabormon box that are seeing a lot more action right now. And they were expensive, but they dropped down a lot. Now, this art is better. I'm not going to dispute that. This art slaps. However, I think there's a big difference with, with this one, why it might be more expensive right now? It's because it's foil. This card's foil. And yeah, it looks kind of weird and whatever, okay. For some reason, it chose not to make this foil. I can't tell you why Bandai made Armageddon Mon foil over this card. I, I don't know what drugs they were on when they decided that that was a good idea. Uh, it just feels like it's a missed opportunity. But anyway... People want to fall down with the token, look at this one. If they want a cooler art, look at this one. Uh, I don't think there's a right answer or a wrong answer on this one. People might consider this max rarity because it's in a very limited set. That's hard to get because it was only print to order. And people might consider this max rarity because it's foil and it's Digifest and you can't just get this card anymore. So, uh, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, Taiga alternate art is almost 20 bucks. It is shooting up. People are getting ready to play this card in the green decks. Uh, unsurprisingly much like other green cards right now, is trying to spike up here. The green cups might also have an impact on this, to be fair. You know, a lot of people are telling me that heavy Leomons are still expensive because of the green cups. Like, it's actually a viable deck in that format. And to me, that's like super copium, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Anyway, Taiga's up there right now. I'd sell them if you got them. Uh, Mega Agumon, I covered this briefly by Shock Pikachu Face on Saturday's Market Watch, but this card and its regular version are shooting up in price. People are also just buying them. Now, I'm convinced that these people are not real people that are buying them for this price. I think that these are people that are crazy. That's what I think. Um, I'm gonna be listing my Black or Mega Gargamons later, my regular arts and my alt art that I have, and I can't tell you they're gonna sell on Facebook Marketplace. Because I don't think people want to buy them at ten dollars pop for the regulars, fifteen for this one. I just don't think so. But I might be proven wrong, and we'll find out if that's the case. Anyway, it, this it was bulk. These cards were bulk. This is why 
Um, I don't know if I've talked about this publicly or not. When I open a case for like me or the store, I will like not sell the supers like under a dollar because you never know what can happen. And this is an example of that. A little bit of hype in the hopium land and this card is just ridiculous all of a sudden. Same with its regular printing. Liberator Perteromon here, $12 basically. Sell them if you got them. I, I would sell them right now. Uh, Carry Kamaya. And yes, I know that's the wrong way to say it. I know. I'm just doing it to trigger you. I, I know. Anyway, uh, this is the Max Ready version, the BT8 version. And uh, 20 bucks and 65 bucks. I'd sell them now if you got them. You can see here that there's a little bit of resistance. People don't really want to spend the money on this card because it's not that good of a tamer. But if you can sell them for 20, do it. Why not? And finally, Prelius Biomon is just bought out and it's 20 bucks. So and it has sold. So if you got any of these lying around, sell them. And that is all for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you later. Bye!